All right, so we're, we're about to do an install video. Uh, you might have, if you've watched an earlier video, we went to start some of the bikes up earlier this season and this one had a dead battery. Um, oh, I put it over here. So we are taking, so this was the old battery. It's actually, pretty heavy and uh, what I ended up ordering was this one uh, I did an unboxing video of this I'll put the link down in the description the anti-gravity lithium-ion battery with restart technology uh, that's a cool feature especially you have a lot of accessories so we're gonna put this in in a little bit but before we get started there, um, I wanted to just go over some of the accessories on this particular VTX 1300. Um, there's a video, it's kind of a, a short, where I kind of highlighted just film and footage of uh, the bike and the accessories themselves, but I'll this I'll do a short, short walkthrough. Um, so here we have a, uh, a manual cruise control. That's something I had installed. The ISO grips, I really love these particular grips and I'm gonna put them on my, my Fury. Um, and what I got, these are Kuryakin uh, components. I got the the throttle boss for this side and matched to the other side. That's these are really handy uh, to kind of rest your your palm on when you're riding. It uh, definitely helps with fatigues, uh, fatigue with um, holding throttle in place with just your just your hand. Uh, I put on these these mirrors. These are also Kuryakin. Uh, I got the I can't remember if it was convex or concave. I think it's convex, so you have a wider viewing angle. Um, right here, the Batwing fairing. This is Memphis Shades, and uh, I also got the pouch. This is also Memphis Shades. It's got a a zipper pouch here, um, three compartments here to hold whatever it is you need. Uh, some other Kuryakin components, these are the Constellation driving lights. And uh, I got the, the LED upgrade. I think stock it came with the, the incandescent, but every light on this bike um, the bulb, headlight bulb, these um, highway lights, the turn signals are all LED. I even add, added these uh, spots. Um, these are all controlled. So one, one thing I did add was this, uh, it's called Neutrino. It's a black box and what it allows you to do, there's a phone app that comes with it where you can control or basically fine tune the control and the voltage going to each each accessory. So that's really cool. I can vary the output of these lights. That's really handy. Um, and really why I got these, put these on in the first place. Sometimes when uh, I'm out late at night, usually on longer rides, um, especially when you're driving through woods, the the darkness in the road just eats up eats up the your your lights, and it's really hard to see. So I only really flip these on in those situations. I don't keep them on running continuously. Um, 
couple other accessories. This hypercharger. Um, this is the Pro, I think the Pro R uh, hypercharger for the BTX 1300. Some Vance and Heinz pipes. Uh, this, this trunk right here. Um, it's actually only 40 bucks. For between 40, I think now you can see it maybe 80, but it comes with like a universal mounting kit. And you can see the tube here. And all I did was I actually kept the luggage rack that I had on in place, and that bolts to um, what used to be the backrest. And I put it right over top of this luggage rack. So this really sits right on top of this. And it comes with a universal bolt kit. So you kind of have to find what works. But it, it was worth it. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. Uh, plenty of space. I have it locked right now. Um, also, I put the deep dish bezels on the rear turn signals and I have a run turn controller hooked up. So these are all on, like these are all red and all act as a brake light. Um, I put this cover on, uh, it's just an accent piece pretty nice makes it look a little bit different these wires here that you're seeing hanging down I have LED lights on this particular bike um, this is part of the LED light system um, tank big bib by Mustang um, throw your phone in here it's really handy your glasses too, you can throw that in, in there. Uh, the seat is off right now, but I have the Mustang seat. That is actually over here. Uh, I have the driver's backrest, so oh, that's right over here. So Mustang seat, the passenger seat, uh, the backrest, that is handy. Um, and, and there's some other things I have on the bike. These don't come stock aftermarket ad. Um, there's some trim pieces. I'm, I'm probably forgetting some things I added. Uh, this radiator cover uh, covers cover here. Um, I also have this audio system uh, Bluetooth capable 100% waterproof um, I, find that. I find that to be handy and uh, the, the bat wing itself is detachable so there, there's a lot of different upgrades I'll prop once I get the bike put back together after we after we do the battery install I'll talk a little bit more about each one individually um, if you've seen some of the other ride videos uh, that's what these ram ball mounts are for so i'll mount the cameras here this ball mount i usually mount a uh, gps to here and so i have that uh, especially on longer rides where you're not quite so sure and the other thing now is you don't have to use a GPS. You can use your phone. A lot of people use their phone. The reason why I use the dedicated GPS is just uh, battery life. I want to conserve battery life. But even even then, I have a, a USB uh, charger for the phone back here. So I can keep that plugged in um, as we go along. So I could use my phone, but I happen to just use a, a separate GPS unit. I think that is most of the accessories. Um, I added these for 
cruising the the guard here uh, these actually came in handy a couple times there's a there's a video where um, I was riding home on this bike and a raccoon came into my path and it's not this side but the other side the uh, it ended up hitting the crash bar and had the crash bar not been there it would have hit my my shin and I'm pretty certain um, my shin would have shattered so these did come in handy more on more than one occasion um, there's some other things like the flag the flag mounts I think that's most of it uh, I'm, I'm sure I, I'll put a list of all the accessories in uh, the description of this video but we're gonna take a pause here and get ready for the battery install um, maybe I don't know if we'll get to it today but maybe I'll clean this up a little bit explain what every component is um, yeah last time last install I did I didn't really clean this up as neat as I wanted to so now that I have the occasion, maybe we'll get to this, but thanks for watching. Check out the, the battery install for the anti-gravity battery. If you want to see the unboxing in the description, that's in another video. All the links you need will be in the description below. Until next time, guys, take it easy. I'll catch you later.